everyone, it's Debbie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm a reseller. I have been reselling since 2004. I mainly sell on eBay and Poshmark. I started dabbling a little bit in Macari. I sold on ThreadUp and Amazon. And today I'm going to share 15 items that sold last week, which was June 20th through 26, 2021, and my sales keep going down, 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 but I know why. I have been on vacation a lot. I went to Arizona a couple weeks ago, and then we get back, and my husband gets strep throat. I'm not feeling great, and so I had a bit of another week where I didn't get a lot of listing accomplished, and sometimes when you list a lot, you can really see the effects the next week and the next week. Also, when you do not list a lot, you feel those effects for a little bit also. So hopefully I can get back on track and get a lot of listing. It's a lot harder in the summer though, when we're going places all the time. I'm still very grateful that I did have 30 items that sold for a gross amount of $743.38 and eBay is starting to pick up a little bit more. If you're new here, I ended almost a thousand listings and I'm slowly adding them back in and making sure my backgrounds are white and updating anything, changing prices, making sure I don't have stale listings. So although I only have 173 items back up listed, I made more money on eBay this week than I did on Poshmark. I sold 13 items for a gross amount of $420.18. And as always, if you want the complete breakdown of the numbers, the items sold, the gross amount, how much on each platform, cost of goods, and all of that, stick around till the end and I will have all of that for you. On eBay, I wanted to show you that sometimes when I show the listing of the sold, it can look different because it is showing how much I would pay on shipping if I was shipping it to myself. Now, usually the buyer is located somewhere else, so their shipping cost is going to be more. So my gross amount is everything that they pay. I also run a report to get those numbers. This is really handy and you get your total number. So I can see on there that for this week, I sold $420.18, 13 items. It shows me how much my selling costs were. They were 34.5%. My net sales were 259.65. Then I also have to take out my cost of goods. And then it breaks down each item. And this is so valuable to have. It also, at the top will give information about how much the selling fees were, insertion fees, final value, promoted listings. So when I give you my number, I am taking this. So if there was a promoted listing, which I normally will promote my items one to 2%, that's taken out of there also. So this is a handy tool to really look at your numbers. As I said on eBay, I sold 13 items for a gross amount of $420.18. The first item that I'm going to share, I got it from the ThreadUp Rescue Shoe Box. These were the Cole Haan Nantucket Leather Penny Loafers in size seven. They sold for a gross amount of $30.26. My earnings were $14.37. I paid $6.32 on the ThreadUp Rescue Shoe Box. That was the average price per shoe or per pair of shoes. And my profit was $8.05. The next one I showed in a Goodwill bins haul, and this was one that I was like a super quick trip where I only had like 30 minutes to shop, and I um, got this Lane Bryant double-breasted jacket in size 26 to 28W, and I remember in the video I had said I could get more money if I hold out for winter, but less money if I want to sell it in the summer or right away, and I will just take it on on a case-by-case -case basis. Well, I got an offer and I couldn't resist. They sell it right now for probably $25, $30. Or if I wanna price it $45, $50 and hold on to it, um, then I I probably could get more money if I would like to wait on it. So it sold it for $48.38, which I'm thrilled with. My earnings were $17.05. I paid $2.08 at the Goodwill bins. I listed it on February 20th. It sold on 
June 21st, so it took four months and one day to sell. And my profit on that, I did not calculate the profit. It was very close to $15, so I will have it on the side, the exact amount. Then the next one was from another Thread Up Rescue Box, and it was from the Thread Up Men's Rescue Box. And this was the Under Armour Tech 11 inch golf shorts, men's size 40. It had on it loose fit, keeps you cool. So I put that in the title and it was also new with tags. So I got that in the Thread Up Rescue Box, new with tags. It sold for $35.69. My earnings were $26.73. I paid an average cost of goods per item when I took out the items that were not worth listing, being $5.03 per item. So my profit was $22.70 and it took eight days to sell. So that's excellent. And the next one was also from that Thread Up Men's Rescue Box. And it was the Bonobos 3X Dry Athletic Golf Shorts with a nine inch inseam. And the thing about these, if you watched my video, I showed the sell through rate. And I said, this has an excellent sell-through rate. There were so many more solds than there were current listings. So when you see that, you know that is an item that will sell right away and you can probably demand a higher amount for those type of items when there are so many solds compared to what is out there. So I said, I'm going to put this on a little bit of the higher end and I think it will sell right away. And it did two days and it sold for $42.90. So that is why sell through rate is so, so important. My earnings were $28.12. I paid $5.03 on that Thread Up Men's Rescue Box and my profit was $23.09. So ah, I'm super happy with that one. Then the next one, okay, go from those really great ones to I have to give some examples of something that sat for a really long time. So I've talked about how I did Ralph Lauren for a long time and the market became oversaturated. This shirt I've had for five years. <laughs> it is a Ralph Lauren orange plaid button down shirt size small. Now I do have to say that I did make my money on this group of shirts because I probably bought 30 of them. And this was the, it, this was either the last one or I might have one more left. So I probably profited 10 to $20 on each of the shirts that previously. And then I just have so many that just took so long to sell. This one finally sold for $26.81. My earnings were $17.05. Paid $17.15 because I got it at Diller's department store. It was on a clearance rack where it was 65% off and then an additional 50% off. So $17.50. So I ended up negative 10 cents on that deal, but I am very glad to just recoup the money that I spent on it. And overall, I did profit on it. It just took a long time. The next one I was taking a chance on because I didn't know if these really sold still or not, but this was for a lot of cloth diapers and inserts in a diaper bag. I got this at the bins. It was a cute little bag. It was full of cloth diapers. And so I thought, ha, huh, I'm going to try that. I remember long ago, these sold really well. So I listed it and I thought, I'm just going to put it out for an auction on eBay and see what happens because it could go up or if it doesn't, then I'll just list it as a buy it now and I knew I was going to be on vacation so I thought oh it can run while I'm on vacation and then sell right when I'm getting back and it sold for $44.88 if you notice it shows that the buyer paid $28.80 for priority shipping I noticed that it would probably fit in a flat rate priority box. So I was able to send it that way instead of by weight and the shipping was $17 and something. So I ended up profiting $17.33 even though the auction only went for $14.99 because I made a little money on the shipping due to putting it in a flat rate priority box. And I think it is just fine if you are able to save on shipping, yet you are providing the exact same service. So they are receiving it priority mail, 
just because it's by flat rate and I saved a little money making my profit a little bit better, it all works out. They are, as a buyer, looking at the total amount that they're going to pay. And sometimes it's free shipping, but we all know it's not really free shipping. Sometimes shipping's a little higher and you will make a little bit more on it. But I think the buyer goes into it wanting to spend a certain amount, no matter what the shipping is. I was just lucky I could fit in a flat rate box. My earnings after fee and postage were $20.78. I spent $3.45 on it because it was considered a home goods at the bin, so it was 69 cents a pound, so it ended up $3.45, and I profited $17.33, and it was an easy, quick list, and so I'm just really happy with that one. The next one is something that took two years to sell, I got it at the Goodwill store, just the regular Goodwill store, and it was this La Musa pottery set. It was four plates. They had made in Italy. They were decorative. They had wall hangings on the back, so I thought these must be meant to hang on the wall, but I saw them, and they were just so pretty and unique, and they were only 50 cents each, and so I wanted to try to sell them, and they finally sold after two years for $63.96. My earnings were $35.12. I paid $2 two years ago, and my profit was $33.12. And I'm going to insert a clip on how I package them because when you have breakables, shipping them all in one container, you want to be sure and protect them. So what I did was I took my eBay boxes that I had that I get with my free shipping supplies and I bubble wrapped each plate and then I inserted it between the box, not, not creating the box, but just having it flat and that gave it some protection. So bubble wrap around, then the box on top of that, then I did the next plate. So each of them, each of them had barriers in between them. Then I put them in a large box and I had filler on the bottom, filler on the sides, filler on the top. So I felt confident that these would make it just fine because they were very well protected. And they went international. I used the global shipping program. So all I had to do was mail it to Kentucky. It was just as easy as sending it domestic. And so those might not have sold if I hadn't had international shipping on. And if you don't do international shipping, I have a video that tells you all about it and how easy it is, shows you step-by-step -step on how to ship international. So highly recommend the international shipping. Then the other things that I thought, I don't wanna share the same things over and over. I wanna share things that are useful and beneficial to you. So I sold three of the trapeze tunic tops that I've showed several times, free people, liquidation. Those are great. They just keep trickling out. I sold several swimsuits, a Speedo swimsuit, a Wild Fox swimsuit, and a free people bodysuit. So that is what I sold. And I thought it was interesting. I was looking at where my items came from that I sold on eBay. Three were from the Thread Up Rescue Box. Two came from the bins. Four came from liquidation, one from the regular Goodwill, three from retail arbitrage. So I really like just shopping in many different places. I like the diversity of it and not putting all my eggs in one basket. On Poshmark this week, I sold 16 items, which is a lot lower than normal. My gross sales were only $299.40, but I have some sales that I was really happy with. First one was a pair of Vans Sophie Oxford leather shoes, and I have these in a video, which I love it when I sell things that I have shown in a video, so you can kind of see start to finish, and also, this is why what sold videos are so important, because resellers can say, oh, I'm going to sell this for $40 or $100, but the what sold videos, you get to find out exactly what they sold for. So I love it when I can show you that I sourced it, how much I paid for it, and then how much it actually sells for and how long it took. So these Van Sophie shoes sold for $35. My earnings were $28. I paid $4.99 at a regular Goodwill. I listed them on May the 8th. They sold on June the 20th. So one and a half months to sell, which I don't think is bad at all. And my profit was $23.01. 
The next one was a pair of rollers and I had watched another YouTuber and they recommended selling those. So right after I watched that video, I came across them and I was like, oh, I'll try this. And I am so glad I did. These were the Babyliss Pro Hot Rollers and I estimated on the video, I said, I think these will sell for around $30. They sold for 28, so pretty close. I was off a couple dollars, but I am happy with $28. My earnings were $20.90. I paid $4.99 and my profit was $15.91. And an easy list. Then the next one I got on my San Antonio trip where I went to the Goodwill store and I'm going somewhere this weekend also. And I haven't gotten to go on to Goodwill or a thrift store on my last few little vacations. Hopefully we'll have a Goodwill haul um, where we're at this weekend. But these came from my San Antonio trip. They were the Hudson jeans and they sold for $36. My earnings were $27.30. I paid just $4.99. I couldn't believe jeans were only $4.99 at that Goodwill. I was super happy with that. They took two months to sell, and my profit was $22.31. The next one came from a Thread Up Shoe Rescue Box. Yay! They were the BKE Soul Sandals, and BKE comes from the buckle. Sold for just $16. I knew they wouldn't sell for a lot, and so that's okay. They sold fast. I recouped my money and made a few dollars. My earnings were $10.34. I paid $6.32, and my profit was $4.02. Then the next one is another one that took a really long time to sell. This was a Susan Bristol jacket. And this was another thing that I talked about in my reseller story video was before I realized about researching comps, I would just pick things up that were really nice and I discovered this fill a bag store. Well, this was probably I'm guessing about five years ago or so. I did this fill a bag and this jacket was beautiful, really nice, seemed quality. I was like, oh, this will sell. <laughs> and it probably cost about 20 cents. My average cost of goods on those bags was usually right around 20 to 25 cents. And it sat for ever though so i was so happy when i got an offer for twenty dollars i was thrilled and so i took twenty dollars my earnings were sixteen dollars i paid twenty cents and my profit was fifteen dollars and eighty cents so you know i can't say though that i regret picking that up i don't think i ever regret picking some up something up listing it and selling it if i made a profit years later i'm grateful that i made fifteen dollars and eighty cents the other things that i sold on poshmark were a lot of swimsuits i had one bundle of three items which were liquidation um free people they were mainly intimates like bras and things like that and then on mercari i had one sale i have not put any into Macari lately it was another one this has been several of them because I've just relisted them and they sell well on Mercari it was the free people trapeze tunic top it sold for $23.80 if you include shipping I got back $16.25 and my cost of goods was $8.50 and my profit was $7.75 so I need to get going on Mercari again <laughs> So I ended up selling 30 items for a gross amount of $743.38. I got back $502.15. My cost of goods was $133.88. And my profit this week was only $368.28. But I love that about this business that what you put into it is what you get out of it and I have not put that much into it. Most of this is due to prior work a month ago or two months ago that I put in and now I'm reaping the benefits. So I need to get after it. On um, Poshmark, 16 items. I ended up profiting $171.43. On eBay, the 13 items, I ended up profiting $189.09. And Macari, one item, I ended up profiting $7.75. And if you want to zoom in on this, and look, I didn't read off every single number, but that's available for you to look at. You just wanna kinda get an idea of my numbers. Thank you again to all of you that watch all the time, all of the nice comments and support that you give. I appreciate you guys very much. And I love that I recognize so many of your names now and I see it and I feel like I'm really getting to know you guys. So 
Thank you so much for everything. And if you are not subscribed and would like to join me again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you'll know when I release new videos. And if you enjoyed this video, if you would consider giving me a thumbs up, I would appreciate that so much. Thank you again and everybody have a great day. Bye.